What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you were new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I typically do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube today. We're going to do a little something different. Today's video is going to be my top 15 sleeper cars you do not want to race against. You never had me. You never had your car. And so for anybody unfamiliar what a sleeper car actually is though, a sleeper car is a car that is unexpectedly fast essentially. A car that when you pull up to it, it's going to look like your typical sedan or your typical SUV, but yet under the hood, it's powered by something ridiculous typically. So in this video, what I'm going to do is break it down, giving you my top 15 sleeper cars you do not want to race against, starting with the slowest, making our way all the way up to number one, which is going to be the fastest, judged by 0 to 60 time first in the event that there is a tie, then quarter mile time, and top speed. So therefore, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and get started with number 15. And so number 15 coming on the list is going to be the Lincoln MKZ 3.0T. Starting price is going to come in at $42,500 and essentially the Lincoln MKZ, it looks like your grandfather's sedan. However, powering this thing is going to be a three liter twin turbo V6, 400 horsepower, 400 pound feet of torque, zero to 60 in 4.8 seconds. Gramps is gonna smoke you in a car like that. That is why that one comes in at number 15 on my list. Number 14 is going to be the BMW M235i X-Drive Grand Coupe. A bit of a mouthful, that one. Starting price is $45,500. Essentially, it is your typical BMW sedan with slightly better looks, hence the Grand Coupe name, with no M badging in the front grille. So therefore, that is one thing you look for with BMWs. It's not a sleeper if you can see that M badge because you know it's got some power. But if it's badgeless, you think it's not gonna be the quickest thing. It's still gonna be relatively quick because it's a BMW, but it's not gonna be as quick as an M car. But powering the M235i is a two liter twin power turbocharged inline four cylinder, 301 horsepower, 331 pound feet of torque, rocketing you to 60 in 4.6 seconds. And I've personally driven and reviewed this car and it feels as fast as those numbers make it out to be. And part of the reason is because power is sent to all four wheels through BMW's X-Drive all-wheel drive system. So therefore you have no slip whatsoever when you hit the gas. That is why that one comes in at number 14 on my list. Number 13 on my list is going to be the Lexus GSF, starting price of $85,010. Looks pretty similar to your standard GS sedan. So that's why this one is put on the list. However, with that F at the end, that means that powering this particular GS sedan is going to be a five liter naturally aspirated V8 with 467 horsepower, 389 pound feet of torque, zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds. And again, I've reviewed this particular car as well, an extremely fun car car with all the luxury amenities that you would expect from a company like Lexus and on top of that reliability as well. And make your way to number 12 being the Volkswagen Golf R. And so the beauty about the Golf is there's so many variations of it. There's the standard Golf, there's your Golf GTI, and then you have the Golf R. And so the Golf R starts at a price of $40,395 and again, it looks pretty similar to your other Golfs, but powering this one is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, 288 horsepower, 280 pound feet of torque sent to all four wheels. That's really the key difference with this particular Golf, giving you a zero to 60 time coming in at 4.5 seconds. That's crazy. Then coming in at number 11 is going to be the Genesis G70 3.3T. And so the G70 being a relatively new vehicle, this one starts at $46,650. Another very good looking luxury sedan. Sedans, again, not expected to be anywhere near as fast as coupes or other cars that are typically faster. But this particular one, although it says 3.3T with one T, it is powered by a 3.3 liter twin turbo, two Ts, V6, putting out 365 horsepower, 376 pound feet of torque, zero to 60 in 4.4 seconds. And the beauty about the G70, it comes with a 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty to cover that twin turbo V6 as well. That's pretty cool. 
Number 10 on my list is then going to be the Jaguar XJR575. This one's kind of pricey, starting at $123,300. Essentially, looks like a luxury land yacht that your grandfather would drive. But powering this one is a five liter V8, 575 horsepower, hence the name. 517 pound feet of torque sending you to 60 in this sedan in 4.2 seconds and for the size of this thing that is definitely quite impressive there coming in at number nine on my list being the bmw m340i x drive starting price fifty six thousand dollars even powering this one is a three liter twin power turbocharged inline six cylinder inline six cylinder that's a beauty of an engine right there you guys 382 horsepower 369 pound feet of torque again sent to all four wheels through bmw's x drive all-wheel drive system zero to 60 time in 3.8 seconds that's under four seconds and that is faster than my 2019 Ford Mustang GT as well. That's amazing. And the beauty of this one is once again, that all wheel drive system that prevents really any kind of slippage when you really hit the gas off the line. So if that particular car is racing a rear wheel drive car with the same zero to 60, that BMW is gonna win any day of the week basically. Then my number eight pick for a top sleeper car is going to be the Audi RS3. Once again, very similar actually to the BMW. Starting price $56,200, but powering this one, perhaps my favorite engine on the list. 2.5 liter turbocharged five cylinder engine, 394 horsepower, 354 pound feet of torque, sent to all four wheels through Audi's legendary Quattro all wheel drive system. One of the cool things about this one, yes, it has a zero to 60 of 3.7 seconds. That's why it comes in at number eight. But the brake setup is beautiful on this 14.6 inch ventilated front disc, which is honestly kind of standard for a performance car, but in a compact car like the RS3, it comes with eight piston front calipers, not six piston like my Mustang, not four piston like a lot of other performance cars, but eight piston. That's amazing. Then coming in at number seven on the list being the Dodge Charger Hellcat. So the Dodge Charger is typically known for being a squad car, a police car. It is a four door sedan with plenty of different trim variations. So if you expect it to be one of the lower trims, honestly, it's not that fast. And that makes it even more of a sleeper car. But the Hellcat variation gives you a 6.2 liter supercharged V8. Starting price is $71,745. But the power numbers come in at 707 horsepower, 650 pound feet of torque, sent to the rear wheels, giving you a zero to 60 of 3.6 seconds. That's crazy fast and over 700 horsepower in a sedan is just ridiculous. Coming in at number six being the Audi S8. And again, this particular Audi does have a less powerful version being the A8, making it even more of a sleeper, but the S8 starts at a price of $129,500, powered by a four liter bi-turbo V8, 563 horsepower, 590 pound-feet of torque, sent to all four wheels once again, giving you a zero to 60 of 3.6 seconds. But with all-wheel drive, again, it would beat cars like the Dodge Charger Hellcat to 60 because of that grip. Then coming in at number five on my list being the BMW M760i X-Drive sedan, one of the more expensive ones on the list with a starting price of $157,800. Powering this one is a 6.6 .6 liter twin power turbocharged V12. That is a supercar engine essentially with 601 horsepower, 627 pound feet of torque sent to all four wheels. Once again, giving you a zero to 60 time coming in at 3.6 seconds. So when you have a car that looks like a luxury land yacht, you don't expect it to necessarily be lightning quick. You expect it to be luxurious. And although it is that, it is also lightning quick with that V12 in it. But now let's go ahead and make our way to number four on the list. So number four is going to be the BMW M550i X-Drive sedan, much lower starting price, coming in at $76,650, 4.4 liter twin power turbocharged V8. And this is a car you see a lot more frequently than the seven series. So, and most of the time when you see it, 
it is not the M550i, it's the standard 5 series stands which are a lot slower. But so power numbers on the M550i though are going to come in a 523 horsepower, 553 pound-feet of torque, once again sent to all four wheels, producing a 0-60 to 60 time at 3.6 seconds once again. All right, so my last three you guys are going to surprise you. Get ready, number three on the list, Mercedes-Benz AMG E63 S Wagon. This is a station wagon coming in at number three on the list with a starting price of $111,750, but under the hood is going to be a four liter bi-turbo V8 with 603 horsepower, 627 pound-feet of torque, zero to 60 time in 3.4 seconds. That is supercar fast in a station wagon. So my first question obviously would be Mercedes, why would you build such a thing? I love it, but second of all, who is going to buy a station wagon that is this fast? And is there even a market for station wagons anymore? But nonetheless, I absolutely love it and that's why that one comes in at number three. Making your way to number two on the list being an SUV, you guys, Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio. And this is going to come with the starting price of $80,445. Power is going to come from a 2.9 liter twin turbo V6, 505 horsepower, 443 pound-feet of torque sent to all four wheels, producing a zero to 60 time get ready in this SUV. 3.3 seconds that's nuts top speed of 176 miles per hour and did i mention this is an suv 3.3 seconds in an suv just makes me smile that is so cool not sure why you would need that kind of power in an suv but it's pretty darn cool that it's there though now making our way to number one on the list and it was a close one between number one and number two but number one is going to have to be the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. Yet another SUV on the list with a starting price of $87,095. Powering this one, once again, just like the Charger Hellcat, 6.2 liter supercharged V8, 707 horsepower, 645 pound-feet of torque. But the difference between the Charger Hellcat and this particular Cherokee Trackhawk is that power is gonna be sent to all four wheels as opposed to the rear wheel drive configuration in the Charger. So zero to 60, then comes in at 3.3 seconds top speed 180 miles per hour and the cool thing about this is this is why this is the ultimate sleeper car everyone's familiar with the Jeep Grand Cherokee that's been around since 1992 the Trackhawk just started in 2018 a lot of people don't even know that it exists they're kind of rare and again because everyone expects the Jeep Grand Cherokee to be this off-road vehicle that you typically find on a camping trip they don't expect it to be super car fast. And again, that is why it slots in at number one on my list. And so that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews and videos like this, of course. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.